So, what's up everybody, and today we're going to look at the KSP light machine gun. Um, I just noticed that I haven't done both of these, so that's why we're going to do them. Um, the KSP, this is a pretty average light machine gun in my opinion. Because I'm using Silent Killer, I put a silencer on it, you don't have to, but I did it. Also going with the standard pipe pot of course, because, you know, it makes the light machine gun pretty OP. Um, it looks good. I think it is one of my most favorite light machine gun if it goes to how it looks. But for overall how it uses, how it's going to be used in my hands and to compare it to the others. I think this one is a little bit of a mixed bag for me. Let's take a look at the mods. There are quite a few of them. Um, I'm going with the long barrel. It gives accuracy and stability, which you're gonna need. Um, I'm using the bigger the better suppressor, it gives the most pluses. If you're gonna use sand killer, otherwise um, just go with the competitor's compensator because you're gonna need the stability. Um, for the bipod, uh, I'm using the line bipod, just use the bipod every time you're gonna use a light machine gun, man it's OP. I'm not gonna be using any boost, you could for more stability or maybe more accuracy or just a team boost overall. But I don't think you really need a team boost for this. I mean, it's nice, but you can use the stability for something else. Foregrip, I uh, use the railed foregrip. And you're gonna lose 8 stability with it, which is too bad. But you're gonna need that plus 2 damage because you're gonna have to hit that 48 damage breakpoint. Um, the 48 damage breakpoint basically means that you're gonna one shot every normal cop if you make a headshot. In overkill. That's the 48 damage break breaking point for you. Um, I'm using the lead combo gadget. Uh, it gives the highest stability bonus. Just to negate the uh, foregrip problem. So I'm using the war thorn stock. Um, I rather choose a lot of accuracy than stability. So that's why I got rid of stability to get more accuracy. I think this is better this way. We could have a lot higher stability. But you're going to get it from the line by pot. We're taking a look at the overall stats, we have a 200 mag, a 400 total ammo, with a fire of 909, which is pretty high, damage of 48.6, mostly because of us, or only because of our skills, otherwise it would be 36, or even lower than 36, it would actually be, no, it would be 36, so keep that in mind, accuracy of 48, that's good, stability of 48, that's also good, but it could be better, Zero, obviously. Set of eight, which is interesting, but we're gonna, not going to use this for stealth. I think you want a comparison with the from this weapon with the KSP 58. So here it is. Um, we're doing more damage. We have the same amount of ammo, the same total ammo, um, uh, higher accuracy, but a lower stability. We have zero concealment again, and a higher threat. So what does that mean? The KSP doesn't have a silencer on it. So let's put a silencer on this thing real quick. Take a better suppressor. Don't have the money for it. Uh, fine. Let's get a medium suppressor then. If you take a look at it now. Now has. Still higher damage. It still has a better accuracy. And still lower stability. So what does this mean? The KSP 58 is. If it goes to. Point breakpoints and accuracy, it's not a better weapon. But having high stability on a light machine gun is extremely important. If you're gonna use the normal KSP, this weapon is gonna kick and it's gonna kick in your face and you're not going to aim that well. And that can be a problem. With the KSP 58 you won't have that problem. Or this problem will be a lot less. The other problem is. Because we have more stability we have to get rid of something else. So we're getting rid of accuracy and damage. And that's a slight problem. This is a weapon. That in my eyes. It's extremely important to use a accuracy boost on or a damage boost. I mean, you are losing the 48 damage breakpoint, so you have to get 
more headshots quicker. And you're losing accuracy. This weapon is not made for long range targets or even medium range targets. This is for close range unless you're using the bipod. So in comparison I think that they both have its properties. I think that the KSP is better in medium range and I think that the KSP 58 is better made for close range. But that's the weapon. Now we're after the gameplay. Alright. So, welcome to Malcrasher. Um, no, I'm not here because I don't have a lot of time on my hands. I'm here because this is a perfect heist to show you the power of this weapon. And this weapon looks amazing. I mean, Jesus, man. Look at it. Great. Um, I'm not gonna complete this heist. I won't. I'm just here to show you the power of this weapon. We're gonna sit at a place that we can do it perfectly. I need some messages over here. You. And I need you. Now we're just gonna sit here. Um. Yeah, a video of just me sitting here is just gonna be pretty boring. But, of course, recently I have been doing only some highlights of the weapons that I do now. So, if something interesting happens, then you'll see it. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.